Hi, I'm William Tenholder, and I welcome you to my Masters 5000 series. And this game is all about mathematics in chess, really. And this is what you need to know. Before you even start to play chess, you need to know that after move 5 or 6, there are more than a trillion possibilities. And so it is for the masters and grandmasters quite a task to understand and have a certain ESP in their situations, which we call intuitive, instinctive chess. Imagine one trillion possibilities. So I give you this game in the name of mathematics to show you that when you use this reti opening with the knight, now all of a sudden your opponents are not so well prepared. And so, um, you know, they make some good moves, but now they are totally, at this point, out of prep. Totally. They have no idea what's going on. Here's the knight, here's the pawn, here's the bishop. You know, there's no pin, but it's all instinctive and, in fact, calculated by me at this point. I wanted all of these reactions, and you'll see how, after move five or six, they will be totally confused. They do not know what the heck to do at this point because there are more than a trillion possibilities. At, at this point, it's becoming five trillion possibilities. And it's like nothing they've ever seen before. They've never, ever seen this game before. So they recognize some patterns. However, they're really having to think everything through and this eats up time on their clock, too. Now, white has an incredible position. Look at the strength here. This beautiful bow, right? And it's supported by proper pieces. The queen, the bishop. So, chess and mathematics. Now we're getting into the realm of more than 20 trillion possibilities. And, of course, I took, as I was talking, you see that um, I was able to take their knight. And, you know, replay on that. <laughs> and, you know, the position is so strong for white that they're confused now. And uh, so they move their pawn to defend against attacks. And then we simply come in, we take the bishop, and now the king has no right to castle. And so you can see, this game is like really one in 10 trillion possibilities at this point. One in 20 trillion possibilities. So they are doing their best to protect their pieces. However, check out that beautiful pawn chain, right? So this is where mathematics comes into play, knowing that they have no idea what to do at this point, right? So it's mind over your opponent really at this point, and whoever can come up with the best solution out of trillions of possibilities will win the game. And so, in this case, this was the answer. That was the move. It was the e-pawn, and it usually is the e-pawn coming up through the center, and the e-pawn takes, and my opponent, after this move, resigns, because... 
we have the power of the bishop, the power of the rooks coming up. It's mathematically perfect. I'm William Tenholder, and I love chess. <laughs>